In 1916, Mary the Elephant was hanged on an industrial crane for the murder of her inexperienced trainer. While she was being stripped of her ivory, it was found that she'd had two abscessed teeth on the side of her face where she was struck with the bullhook. The circus fat lady eulogizes Mary the Elephant. They've gone and made you a ghastly ornament of uncontrol, Mary. Your pain overturning a whole city atop the man who dared treat you like some dumb creature. Your largesse, both your attraction and your charge, isn't it something? The way these small-souled people toss their harder nickels at our feet to marvel at our vastness, to be in the presence of our dangerous, to mock their fear in our content, to provoke our great mass into motion so they can crown themselves then movers of mountains, worshiping and damning us in one breath for the wonders that we are. If you cannot be small, at least make it easy to handle you. Be massive, but my God, be docile. Your anger, our anger, it reminds them of all the ways that we can undo them with half the effort. How dare you be so beastly and strike back when they only meant to beat you grateful. And look. They've gone all drunk on bad justice and hauled you into the sky, a thundercloud, named themselves the gods of your demise. They've robbed your gravestone face with hacksaws for all the trouble of your unrest. It took an entire mob and a railroad crane to give them their pound of flesh, and still you gave them tons. How quickly they forget the monumental hearts that drive these elephantine bodies. Mary, you are survived by all things large and wild-hearted and irreproachable. I survive you, Mary. Mary, I survive you in every beastly enchantment I can muster. <laughs>